Alright guys, welcome to Akram the A-Lister. And, you know, before I get started on this so-called shoot on a guy that I'm, you know, about to rip apart, um, I just want to mention something, alright? Um, so, apparently, y yesterday, WWE Raw came over to Cleveland, Ohio. This is, this is where I live. I mean, I don't live in Cleveland, but, you know, Cleveland, Ohio is my hometown. Ohio is my hometown. So, you know, they came over to Cleveland, you know, in the Quicken Loans Arena, whatever. So, you know, um, I didn't watch Raw, clearly, because, um, you know, it's just boring, seriously. I mean, I'm not going to waste three hours of my life watching this garbage. Although, I do occasionally see the results of Raw, you know, see what's going on in WWE. So, really, I'm not, you know, pretty much ignoring it completely, really. But, yeah, so, me and my friend, um, you know... Um, we're driving around, you know, Cleveland, Ohio, and, you know, down the town, um, you know, and we pass Quicken Loans Arena, right? And so, you know, he's driving, I'm sitting in, in the passenger seat, right? Um, so I get out of the car, I hear Adam Rose's entrance, I'm not lying, okay? Now, I wasn't inside the arena or whatever, but I was pretty close to it, right? Like, I, like, we literally drove past the doors, like, in the arena, it was about, like, when Adam Rose came out, I don't, I don't remember, but, you know, he came out, I heard his music all the way from the car, so I get out, I do, you know, the finger right to Adam Rose, and then, like, three security guards come to me, and they tell me to, you know, to put my finger down, and go back in the car, so, and I'm only 15 years old, so, you know, pretty much, um, you know, this is kind of, like, you know, they're tyrants and they're psychos, basically, you know. And I'm only 15, all right? If I was older than 18, I could, you know, could get arrested, but I'm not older than 18. So, you know, it, you know, they just told me, you know, just put my finger down um, and go back in the car, and which I did. But, you know, this just proves of how WWE are tyrants and psychos, okay? Um, so, you know... I understand it's not the security guards' fault necessarily, but still, I mean, somebody, you know, backstage, you know, you know, some guy that's unknown, they must have told, you know, um, the security guards, you know, if you see any profanity going on, you know, you know, tell that person to put the, you know, put the fingers down or, you know, whatever profanity they may be doing. First of all, I wasn't even in the arena, okay? We were like right next to the arena, and I and I'm not going to any WWE shows because I mean let's face it, I'm not going to waste. Well, I'm not paying for the tickets, but you know I, I'm not gonna go to a WWE show and you know um, support their company really. Uh, in in fact, I, I, I wasn't even inside the arena, so you know they're. They just think that they have so much power that they can do whatever the hell they want. And, you know, they, you know, just feel like that I don't even have the freedom of speech to do what I want. And it's not even in the arena. So, you know, screw the WWE for doing that, really. I thought that was just complete idiotic stupidity on their on their part. So, yeah, um, I just want to get that out of the way. And this is not what, um, me trolling or lying. This is actually true, okay? I literally did that. I'm not lying. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I said in the beginning of this video that I would go off on somebody. Yes, the ruthless ranter. Now, he doesn't get too much views, really. You know, he may get around 100, 200, 300 views, um, really. So, yeah, his name is called the ruthless ranter. Um, and I have to say, the Ruthless Ranter, in my opinion, is completely boring. I mean, seriously, I watch the Ruthless Ranter, okay? And then, just by reading this guy's title, I mean, um, his username, you know, this tells me, alright, he's a ranter, he's ruthless, he will go down and dirty, he will go off on, you know, whatever he, he's talking about. I watched the video, and it's completely monotone and boring and dull, just like the guy he is in general. I mean, you watch, like, a SmackDown review of his, all right? Because, you know, I was at home on a Friday night, 
and I didn't want to watch SmackDown, so um, I, I couldn't read the spoilers because I didn't want to get surprised, so I just watched the review, okay? And then he, he sounded completely boring, all right? And this SmackDown sucked, all right? It was like in maybe like six months ago, maybe, um, you know, maybe the Thanksgiving SmackDown, I don't remember, but all I know is that this SmackDown sucked, and I was expecting this guy to, you know, just rib on the WWE, he sounded monotone throughout the whole entire video, okay, and if you guys want an example, just let me show you, alright, I'm not gonna do that, that, you know, little stupid editing, you know, that other people do, really, you know, it's getting dark, but anyway, hold on for a minute, <sighs> one for just a second, alright, so apparently this is, um, the Ruthless Rancher, alright, right here. I don't know if you guys can see him all that well. Alright, so as you might have noticed, I got a new, um, new fucking name to my channel. I'm now the Ruthless Rancher. Yeah, I, I know, it's not a great name or anything. I'm hoping it's just a temporary name. I'm hoping somebody, uh, like, comes up with a name who's watching this video <coughs> and comments it down below, because that's what I'm hoping for. I'm, you know, I'm not that great at coming up with names, nor do I have a, the time, or nor do I want to think of, like, it takes, like, an hour to think of a fucking name, but, um, I just, uh, you know, I was hoping that one of my subs, or one of the people watching this vid, would maybe think of a, a cool name or something, um, <clears throat> Alright, that was just like a little bit of a sample of his video, okay? So, you saw about like 30 seconds of the video, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds of the video. And you could clearly tell that the guy is monotone, he's boring, he's dull, he has no personality. In fact, here's his name. Um, Primo Epico, the El Matadors even have more charisma than this boring ass bum, okay? No, uh, I'm sorry, not bum. What am I going to call him? Um, just, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, what do I would call? You know what? Actually, his name is not going to be the Ruthless Ranter anymore, right? This dude's name, it's going to be the Boring Ass Ranter, okay? That is what his name is. Is going to be from now on in the YWC, okay? If you guys can get some trend going on, you know, hashtag the boring S Ranter, that'll be great, you know. So, yeah. Um, you just saw like 20 seconds of his video, and don't give me that crap that he's just introducing himself. No. If he's some, you know, ruthless ranter, I understand where you're coming from to a certain degree, but he's supposed to be some, you know, he's supposed to be ruthless. He's not ruthless, okay? And ruthless does not mean boring. Ruthless means vicious, you know, he's angry. He just sounds boring and monotone, okay? So, you know, just that just makes this guy boring, dull, monotone. It, you know, basically, any adjective that is, that is, you know, has no action to it, okay? No feeling, you know. He's just like Randy Orton, pretty much, <laughs> Maybe even more boring than he is, but, you know, really, yeah. So, the ruthless rant, well, no. the boring-ass rant here from now on. He sucks. Get a hashtag going. So, yeah, until next time on the Crim the A-Lister. All right, so this person, um, her name, I think, was Akram the Alistair, something like that. Um... Alright, you know, it's in the video name, but I don't really know how to pronounce it right. Um, but he made this video about me, you know, basically saying I was boring and monotone. And, you know, I encourage people to give my opinions or your opinions on me because I'm always wondering how people perceive and, you know, view my videos and what, what they think about it. So I'm always encouraging people to, uh, you know, talk about me, whether that be negative or positive. Just give your true opinion. And this guy does not look like some troll or anything like that. You know, it's easy to spot a troll on the internet. They usually go to popular people's channel and, and just bug them and try to get them to mention them. You know, and I'm not one of those people. Um, and this guy doesn't look like one of those people either. But, you know, 
Uh, he basically started the video off not even talking about me, which I don't blame him for. I mean, I do that all the time. But I, I do want to talk about it. He said, you know, he lives in Cleveland, I think, and he went to the the uh, place where Ra, Ra was on Monday. And uh, I guess he was standing outside the uh, the stadium and the, the WWE guys told, uh, security guys told him to back away or something like that. Um, if you were in a public area, they can't do that because it's obviously open to the public. And, you know, so what I recommend you do is you, you take a camera or something like that and actually go and videotape. Um, go and videotape that, them doing that, because they can't really tell you to get off of public property. You know, if you're inside the stadium, yeah, I guess they could do that. But if you're outside, they cannot tell you what to do. You know, so, uh, yeah, just take a camera and, you know, hide it or not, you know, I, I don't really know, you know, you could take it with you or you could just put it in your box, pocket and record, you know, uh, and hide it. But that's what I would recommend uh, you to do, you know, because they cannot tell you what to do if you're on public property. But anyway, um, he goes into this video saying how, uh, how I'm monotone. You know, I don't really like to raise my voice a lot. You know, I just, I, I don't know, I just don't do it a lot. You know, I just don't feel the need to do it. Maybe I've done it in the past, but, you know, it's it's basically, you know, I've said this before, it's what's coming out of my mouth that matters and not, you know, where the camera is, you know, how it's angled or how, how uh, you know, if the video's in HD or not. I mean, maybe people like when I yell or other people yell, but I just don't do it a lot, you know, um, because I, I don't get, you know, very angry that many that much. I mean, it's just wrestling, guys. I don't get all worked up that much about wrestling usually. I mean, some things might piss me off a lot, but I don't usually raise my voice because I don't, I don't really feel the need to that much. You know, I just want to get my point across and, you know, I just don't want to be screaming the whole video. But, um, so that, yeah, that uh, throws away that point. I, yeah, I am, I, mean, I, I do talk in the same voice all the time. I mean, you know, I don't, again, I don't feel the need to change my voice. It's, bit, you know, maybe I'll get a little bit angry and you can tell when I'm angry, but I don't raise my voice that much. Um, then he also said he was watching one of my SmackDown reviews, like, a, a lot, like, what, like, six months ago or something like that, from, like, Thanksgiving, around Thanksgiving time, I think he said, and he said I gave a positive review on it and he thought the episode was shitty. You know, we're going to have differing, different opinions on shit, um... And, uh, you know, I do call myself the ruthless ranter. He's like, oh, you should be ranting on everything or you should be ranting on a lot of things. You know, I don't always think, you know, that everything sucks. I, I do give credit where credit's due to good shit that they produce. Um, so when I think something's good, I'll say it's good. But I name myself the ruthless ranter because I found that a lot of things that I find horrible or bad or not good, people you know, are are entertained and they say, why are you so negative about WWE all the time? And they always say I'm negative. So I decided to go with that and name myself the Ruthless Ranter. Does that mean I think everything's bad? Does that mean I'm going to rant on everything? No. I, you know, and even sometimes I'll make a positive video and then people will say, hey, I thought this sucked, you know? So we're going to have different opinions on, you know, I'll, I'll make a positive. I think I made a positive main event review and somebody said, hey, I thought this, this episode sucked. I think I said it was decent, and somebody's like, hey, I didn't really feel like this episode was that good. I'm like, fine, you know, I'm not going to fucking go off on you, but, you know, sometimes I, you know, I, I don't fucking, you know, rant, I don't rant on everything, all right? You know, some things I think are good, some things I think, you know, most things I think are bad in WWE. I'm pretty sure I, most of my videos are negative reviews, you know, so it does fit the name, The Ruthless Rainer, since all, like, most of my videos are negative. But I am positive when I think the the product's good. I, I never rant on something just to rant on it, you know. I don't or I don't lie and say it's bad when I think it's good, just so I can make a more entertaining video. I understand that ranting is probably more entertaining to listen to, but when something's good, I'm gonna give it its credit, um, whether you guys like it or not. I'm gonna give my true opinion. And then um, he also played a video where where. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this, but I was making a video where I, I was, I, I think it was titled New Channel, The Ruthless Rainer. I, I basically announced that I was changing my name to The Ruthless Rainer. I said, hey, hey guys, I'm changing my name. I think it was WWE Heel Punk before that. That was my Twitter name. So I decided, hey, just I'm just going to keep it. 
you know, as my YouTube name so people can identify, you know, me it, between Twitter and YouTube. Then I decided to get a new Twitter or uh, your YouTube name, you know, so it could, you know, it, like, I, I don't know, this better name. I, you know, WB Heel Punk's not that great a name, so I said, hey, might as well get a new name. Then even that, even in that video, I said, if you guys have any recommendations for a new name, because I don't think this name's that great, you know, uh, leave it to me. But, you know, I kept this name because I thought it was a pretty good name. You know, after I thought about it for a while, and you know, it's it 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 fits, I think. So he played that video though. He like turned the camera around and showed it. And he's like, I, I don't got any uh, you know special effects, and you know, just you know, I don't either. You know, he's like, I, I don't know how to edit this shit. <laughs> I don't either. A person, whoever you know, whatever the name was, this act from the Hellist or whatever. You know, so I'm not gonna bash him for that. You know, and having poor editing skills because I don't know how the fuck to edit videos either. You know, um, you know, put a put like another video inside a video. It's it, it's hard, you know, for me to understand all this editing shit. Um, but anyway, he plays the video and it's me making my new channel. And he's like, "Hey guys, you see how boring and monotone?" Or you know, he, he's not ranting. And I'm like, "Of course I'm not ranting. All I'm doing is introducing my new channel. What do you want? What do you want me to rant on? I mean." That's just, like, stupid, I think, of him. You know, this guy doesn't seem like a stupid person, but that was a stupid fucking thing to do. He was playing my video where I was introducing my new name to my new channel. What do you want me to yell? Hey, guys, I changed my name to the Ruthless Ranner. You know, what, what the fuck do you want me to do? I mean, of course I'm going to talk in a calm voice like I am now. Uh, of course. Uh, what do you want me to raise my voice and scream and yell and get angry that I'm changing my name to my channel? Um... So then he's uh, trying to come up with a new name for my channel, um, and he takes like 30 seconds, he's like, um, 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 and yeah, I understand, you know, like, doing li like videos like this live, like, I don't, I don't, again, I don't know how to edit my videos together or whatever, you know, I, I botch all the time, and so yeah, sometimes it's like hard to, uh, you know, think of words to say, you know, sometimes you mess up, um, but like doing videos, it really, you know, you, you'll you get better as you go along. This guy, I was looking at his videos, and he doesn't seem like he does a lot of videos. But, um, like I still botch a lot, but I'm better than I was like a long time ago. I think I've been doing videos for like a year now, and I'm a lot better than I used to be. You know, and it's, it, it is hard though, you know, sometimes you just can't think of what to say. Um, but it, this does help though. I, I, I found it does help with um, <coughs> public speaking. You know, and it's just talking, talking to a fucking camera. I mean, it's better than talking, you know, I, like, sometimes I'll get, like, 100 people watching, 200 people watching my videos. So, I mean, I should be nervous, but I'm not, you know, it's it's weird. Like, if you're talking to, like, 100 people and they're standing, like, right there, it's, you're nervous, but I'm talking to a fucking camera and I'm not nervous. You know, it's pretty weird, you know, knowing this video or any other of my video, like, my raw reviews, they're going to be watched for, like, 100, 150, 200 people. You know, I'm not nervous, but if they were standing right there, I would be, so... Yeah, but making videos, you, you sometimes get nervous, you know, but once you do them for a long time, you, you finally, you know, get used to it and shit. But he finally calls me the boring-ass ranter. Yeah, all right, that's your opinion. You watch, I, mean, I don't know how many videos of videos this guy watched of me, but, you know, all right, you think I'm boring, fine. Um, but yeah, and he says, oh, he doesn't get a lot of views on his videos, and I'm looking through his videos, and <clears throat> he's got, like, like his rant on me at like 30 views and I'm not bashing that you know there's a lot of people with talent on YouTube or you know who have who give good opinions and they don't get a lot of views you know and I'm not saying I get a ton of views or anything but you know don't say I don't get a lot of views or you know you know don't really bash me you know it sounds like he was bashing me for that I don't know but it's like like I like some of my videos have a, like a hundred two hundred three hundred views you know like I think my Adam Rose ran as, as of recently got like 250 views. So I do get more views than him. So for him to like say that, you know, I, you know, I, don't, I don't know. What, what I, that's not a big deal or anything, but I just wanted to bring that up. You know, uh, like his videos didn't get, his videos had less views than mine. For, so for him to say, oh, he doesn't get a lot of views. Well, that means, you know, talking about himself, he doesn't really get a lot of views. He gets less views than me. So, you know, for him to say that... <clears throat> You know, I, I don't know, though. You know, that, that, 
that's not a fu big fucking deal, really. I don't, I don't like to make a big fuss over views because th that doesn't really tell you how great of a fucking YouTuber you are with views, you know. So, um, there's my response to your video. I saw somebody else. You know, I'm always type. Sometimes I type in when I'm not signed into my YouTube account, the Ruthless Ran. I typed it on YouTube, so I, so I could just click on my channel. And I saw his team made a video on me. I also saw somebody else made a video on me too. Some kid, you know, uh, it seemed pretty young, but yeah, you know, he, he made like a 20 second video and he's like, hey, go check out the Ruthless Brander, he's great, you know, and I, I told that guy, commented, thanks guy, you know, thanks bro, <clears throat> and I'm, you know, I'm always looking for uh, people to give their opinions on me, so if you want to make a video on me, you know, make a video um, bashing me, praising me, whatever, go ahead, I, I encourage you to do, um, and maybe I'll make a response to it, especially if it's negative, I'll make a response to it. Um, but yeah, there you go, people, and, and yeah, if you want to give your opinions on YouTube, go right fucking ahead, because I have a blast doing fucking YouTube videos, I, you know, it's very fun for me to go on here, you know, uh, rant, let out my anger, happiness, whatever, it's fun, do it, make a YouTube channel, you know, and I don't really care, you know, I'm, I get a decent amount of views, you know, I think if I get a hundred people to watch, you know, 100, 150, 200 people to watch my raw review, you know, it's good. And get a couple comments, have some fun, you know, it's it's pretty fun, you know, interacting with people and shit. So get a YouTube channel, you know, it might take a, you know, you you increase in views, you know, as time goes along, and it, it it's been worth it. It's been fun, and I have a blast doing it. So you know, and this guy, um, again, he's not really a troll. He doesn't seem like a troll. He's he gave his he gave his true opinion of what he thought of me from what he's seen, however many videos he's watched, and I I, I give him uh, credit for you know having the courage at least to not be a troll and uh, give his true opinion because it did look like he was uh, not he didn't he wasn't lying I don't think so he's not trying to start shit I don't think I think he was just giving his true opinion and talking and I don't really have a big problem with that but that the, that's my counter argument to his video I mean. Some of the points in his video were stupid, but you know, that you know it, that's all right. You know, <laughs> I mean, I, I've made some stupid points too, which I, which I think after I made the video or you know posted something, whatever, I think hey, that was pretty stupid of me. And whenever I do something stupid, I will usually address it again or admit I was wrong or something like that. So there you go, people. There's my uh, uh, video addressing this guy's video on me. So uh, there you go, people.